So here at TechSamps, we deal with a lot of videos. And since most of our contributors, myself included, use Open Broadcaster Studio that doesn't have a built-in way to pause or combine videos, then we gotta look at other tools like Line 9, FFmpeg, got the download link here. That has the capabilities to Line 10, concatenate MP4 files together losslessly, meaning no re-encode necessary. And I'll show you how to do that. Uh, so first off, I'm working inside of my demo folder here. So you can see, I've got the two video files that I want to combine as well as the FFmpeg folder. And inside of that folder, I've got the FFmpeg.exe as well as ffprobe.exe and we'll, we'll use to get some data about the media files. And then both of those files that I'm going to be combining. So here at line 27, looking at the ffprobe command, uh, specifically at the file one and setting the output format to be JSON and showing the format and then converting it from JSON to look at that format as a object. So if we run that, you can see some information about that file. But specifically, I want to point out the duration. We can see this is 810 seconds. And the second one is 470 seconds. And that's important because when we combine them, it'll be 810 plus 470. The first step to combine them, though, is to convert them to the MPEG-2 transport stream format, which converts them from length prefix mode to start code prefix mode, which essentially converts it to a format that can be just straight combined together without having to re-encode them. As so you can see, the input file, the dash aisle, file one, just copying it, the BSF bitstream mode for the video is the H264 MP42 HANX B. That's just a reference to the specifications. And then the dash F, the file format, MPEG TS, so the MPEG2 transport stream, and then specifying the last parameter there, the file location itself. So I run that command, you notice it's really quick, it's about as fast as it takes to copy the file. And then same thing for file two. And then if we look at one of those files again using ffprobe, you can see that this is now formatted as the, that MPEG-2 uh, transport stream. And the duration is still the same. And so once we've got all of our transport stream files, we're going to use ffmpeg to concatenate them together. And so there you can see for dash i, I'm using the concat prefix followed by all the file names separated by the pipe character. And then for my bitstream format on the audio, I'm using that AAC ADT2 ASC format just so that it knows how to combine the audio together. And then the, the last file there is the file name of the output. So if we run this, uh, you'll notice that it goes really fast, about as long as it takes to copy the files. And then we use ffprobe on that final output file. We can see that 470 plus 810 is 1280. Well, 81 if we route it. But since we're in PowerShell, we can do a little better than that. I've written a function here. So specifically a function uh, that takes as many input files as you can give it that are all .mp4s, needs a temp folder and an output file, as well as needs to know where the ffmpeg executable is located. But with that information, it's gonna be create an output file and array. And then for each of those files, so I've, I've got a for each inside of the process block because I want it to accept pipeline input or an array of files. And that's just the way I do it. So then for each of those files, it's gonna create a temp file which is in the temp folder slash file base name dot ts. So it's going to use that dot ts extension. Then line 66, I'm going to convert it to that MPEG-2 transport stream format. Line 67, add each of those files to an array. And at the end here, I'm going to build that concat stream line 72. And line 73, I'm actually going to run the command to combine them all together. And then, of course, clean them up at the end here, line 75 to 77. Since they're just those dot ts files are just temp files. So if we import that into our session, Here's how we use it. So here, line 82, I've got those two files again. I'm creating an array out of them. And on line 83, join that ffmpeg mp4 is what I decided to call it. Uh, we'll give it that array of files, tell it where we want that file to go, and give it a temp folder. So if we run that, you notice it goes pretty quick. Don't get any output because I use the quiet parameter on the ffmpeg commands. But on line 86, if we use the ffprobe command that again, we can see the duration of this one is also 1,280 seconds. But again, with PowerShell, we've got the pipeline. So line 89, if we could do a get child item on the current folder we're in, only looking for the .mp4 files, uh, you can see we've got four of them. And we can use this command to combine all four of them by just piping it straight to that join-ffmpeg mp4 commandlet. And the output file, we're just calling output three, incrementing that up. And the temp folder, just giving it the current working directory. And if we run this, this will take a little longer than before, but still not more than a few seconds. 
bam, already done. Combine all four of those files together. And we can verify that by looking at the output here. So you can see the duration there, 3,842 seconds, is the total length of all those files put together. So that's how you can use FFmpeg to combine MP4 files together, specifically through PowerShell and building a custom function. Thanks for watching.